scrimmage last night? Like any impressions of what how things are going to look? Well, we're going to have a team that's going to play fast, get up tempo, kind of the new style of NBA, push the push the floor, you know, run the floor hard, um, try to get into our sets within the first 12 seconds. So, you know, I like that. We were very athletic. We got guys with high energy, high motor. So that's 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 a good thing. That's a good thing about our team. We got youth. Who are the guys you were working with last night? Who's got who? Who are the guys you were working with last night? Uh, you know, working with everybody. You know, coaches are switching lineups up, but uh, you know. There's a little bit of everything. Are you trying to ask what the, what the starting lineup's going to be? Is that what you're asking? No, they don't know yet. Oh, yeah, yeah we don't know yet. Right. Just, you know, Colin was doing a good job pick and roll. G Hill, you know, JC. You know, we're all just meshing together. All, how many guys are in camp? 20? Yeah. All 20 of us. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, you're with the Athletic now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, how would you big time. describe the offense, this year's offense? A lot of moving the ball. I think we're trying to... Take a little bit from how Boston plays, you know, get everyone the ball, get, get everyone touching the ball. Uh, not so much isolations, just because of the dynamic of our team. I think we'll be better if everyone's sharing the ball, feeling the ball, feeling good, being all in attack mode. That'll just make us a better ball club. Uh, it sounds like defensively, you guys are going to try to switch, <laughs> mm-hmm. which you do in the playoffs. Yeah. But almost never do it in the regular, in the regular season. season. Yeah, um, I know. But you like to do, you like to play. Yeah, I like to play switching. Uh, Switching everything, switch one through four, five, maybe in a drop or in a blitz. I think uh, that's where our, you know, defense is top five always in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. In the regular season, uh, we're pretty garbage because we don't do, we don't kind of show our hand into the playoffs. But uh, this year, I think I would want to change that. I think guys want to, you know, come out and, and uh, start some defensive end and, and be a team that's top ten, you know, in uh, team defense. You know, that's definitely a expectation of ours, and that's something that we're trying to achieve. What is the benefit of you guys switching with the personnel that you have? If you look at our personnel, if you look down the roster, we've got a lot of long, athletic guys that, that can just play multiple positions, they can guard multiple positions, you know. Myself, Larry, we can guard one through five. You know, even Kev, if Kev can get out there a couple possessions, he can guard point guard, he can guard two guards. Um, Jetty, he can guard some four-man. Swish, he's one of the strongest guards that we have in our league in terms of physique and how he's able to get low and box guys out. So <clears throat> we got a lot of versatility, even G Hill. I think I've only seen probably one guy scoring a block on G Hill since he's been here. I think that was Al Horford in uh, game three. But besides that, I haven't seen any big man really post up G Hill and scoring. The top 10 defense thing, I mean, you think you have a long way to go to be that, or you of think course, it's going to be baby step. You yeah. obviously you can't just wake up in the morning and be like, you know, we're top 10 in the, in the league in defense. It's going to be step by step. I think these preseason games are going to be huge for us, especially, you know, playing against Boston, a team that, uh, you know, is one of the top teams in the East. We can see how our defense pans out and see what adjustments we need to make. But it's going to be steps. Uh, the sooner the better is always, is always what we like to hear and what we want. But uh, we just got to trust it, trust our coach, and uh, watch a lot of film. Is there enough winning <coughs> muscle memory? Here still to carry you through. I mean, everybody. It's probably a secret media day. Life without LeBron. You saying love, uh, I mean, is there enough in, you know, winning muscle memory? Yeah, on right this there. Team. Right there. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Me, Kev, Jr. Me, Kev, Jr. Kyle. I mean, we was out there for a lot of those banners. Channing. It's a, lot, it's a lot of winning muscle memory here. George G. Hills had a lot of winning basketball in his career with Indiana with us last year. So. With the guys that we have, we have about seven, eight guys that have been past the first round of playoffs. So that's enough winning muscle memory you need. But you know what the assumption, I mean, I probably yeah. shouldn't use the word assumption, but I'll use it. The assumption is, is that your team will trend downward precipitously this year without LeBron. Is there any way, in, in your mind, does that have to happen just because no. one man? No, no, no. Of course, LeBron <clears throat> was a huge part, you know, the franchise player cornerstone of our team. And he, uh, you know, We've got a lot of success together, built a lot of memories, won a championship here, which we give him, you know, a lot of the credit, ton of the credit. But, um, you know, he's he's prepped myself, JR, Kev, he's prepped us for this moment. So when it's time for, you know, for guys to you know, part ways that we were prepared and we were mentally ready for that challenge, I think he did a good job teaching us the qualities and what it takes to be a pro, what it takes to be a champion. And now we got to pass that along to the young guys and keep that culture going. Any of oh, David? Yeah. Strong guard. <clears throat> He's another guy. He's another guy that can guard one through four. Strong guard, athletic, 
very underrated, but he's a he's a he's a guy that kind of could just do a little bit of everything, which is good to have on your team. And the guy's going to compete. At the end of the day, you want guys on your team that are going to play hard every night. Might not be the most talented, but they're going to play hard, punching the clock, and give you know a full effort. You can live with guys like that. Did you talk to, did you talk to <coughs> Kobe pretty quick after LeBron went to the Lakers? Did you hear from Alden? Yeah, sorry about something. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, what what did he say to you that made you feel good about coming back? And I mean, we've always been the same page, me and Kobe. We know, you know, even though LeBron's gone, we still got a very talented ball club, and we're, you know, we're we still see ourselves as a playoff team. At the end of the day, like T. Lou said, we're still four-time Eastern Conference champions. So until you take us down from that, teams ain't got much to say. Boston, Philly, they ain't got much to say. Boston had home court game seven, lost. Right. Philly, you guys almost got swept. Toronto, we already know that story. So until someone takes us down, there's not much they can really say. Not to, not to me. Right. You're somebody who's always taking pride in the defense. Mm -hmm. You mentioned all you your work. You were garbage in the regular season defensively. Yeah. How did that sit with you? Um, <clears throat> I think with our ball club the last four years, we understand what the goal is. So, you know, even though I use the word garbage, maybe it's just not, maybe not that locked in. And I think this kind of messes our defense up in the regular season that we don't play our style of defense because we don't want to show our hand, which leads to the, you know, the poor, the poor numbers. So I think with our team the last four years, we knew what the goal was and that was playoff time. So when we knew the last regular season game was done April 17th, the whole, we turned the switch on and we changed it. Cavs basketball is back, and so are the fan favorite giveaways and unique theme nights at the Q. This year's promotional schedule features four bobbleheads, family fun nights, Bud's Night Out, and so much more. Don't miss out on all the fun. Head to Cavs.com slash promos to see the complete schedule and get your tickets today. Cavaliers basketball, all for one, one for all.